On the weekend of October 12, 2018, as is our tradition at Wake 9 for the last 10 years, we assembled seven of the best of the best surf boats in the world in one place at Lake Oroville, California. There were moments of glass and moments of heavy winds and swells, but every participant was a die-hard wake surfer and ready for anything. Any chance to get a ride behind all of these amazing boats in eight two-hour sessions. There were over 60 amazing wake surf boards and we provided lunch both days and everyone had an amazing time. Wake 9 prepared ahead of time to capture great footage of all of the boats and people surfing. We had more than three full-time camera operators and I flew my new Mavic Pro 2 drone. We set a personal record for our 10th polar bear event by bringing home over 350 gigabytes of video, the majority of it shot in 4K. Normally we would sort and log all of this video and create a fun video recap of the event right after the first of the year. However, just three weeks after the event, tragedy struck the area with the largest wildfire in California history known as the Campfire. In the evacuation, some of the video was lost and damaged, but after some work it was all retrieved, nothing was lost. Now we get to share with you the video from the event of this amazing weekend. We normally present the boats in alphabetical order, but this year I am going to present them in order of how much water each boat was displacing on that weekend, from the least to the most. I am doing this to emphasize just how important displacement makes to a great wave and to give a better basis for comparison. Displacement is mostly responsible for the size and power of the wave. These boats all have varying degrees of tech to make clean waves on both sides, but it is important when you compare these boats that you take into account the amount of water they were displacing when you watch the videos, as well as other factors that are important to you like the quality of the interior or the price. Along with the dry weight and ballast on this weekend, we are assuming a gear and people weight of about 1,600 pounds for each boat. I am also going to try to give you one or two really great points about each boat and at least one point that I think can be improved based on my experience filming them and speaking and reviewing data from all of the riders. The first boat on this list is very unique and a boat we have been hoping to try out for a couple of years. It is the Heyday WT Surf, otherwise known as the Wake Tractor. This boat is about 22 feet long with a drag weight of 4,300 pounds. It has a healthy stock ballast system of 2,800 pounds and we added about 600 pounds of lead for this weekend so it could better compete with the big boys. That brings the total displacement for the Wake Tractor to about 9,300 pounds. The Wake Tractor is probably not going to win any beauty contest, but it is very affordable at around 60k. It's easy to tow and will fit most anywhere. But what about the Wave? It's fun and it's legit. It's definitely not the size or power of some of the bigger boats, but if you want a boat that you can surf with and have a great time with some friends or family, you can do that with this boat. I was very surprised. This is no frills though, keep that in mind. The surf tech on this boat was basically moving a suction activated wave maker from one side of the boat to the other. It's not the level of luxury or tech in other boats, but it works and it's fun. You may be surprised that this big G23 is a bit lower than some of the other boats when it comes to displacement. Don't let that fool you to think it makes a subpar wave. Correct Craft has done a great job with their hull and tech to be very efficient with the displacement they use to make a great wave. The G23 has gone through several refinements in design and engineering since it was introduced in 2013 and it is noticeable. Every bit of it feels purpose built and tweaked to be the best it can be. This G23 is 23 feet long and it had a dry weight of 5,900 pounds with 2,850 pounds of stock ballast that was not run completely full. Another 550 pounds of lead is added to tune the wake to perfection by the Wake Surf veteran owners of this boat, the Woodards. With people in gear, the displacement was about 10,250 pounds. The G23 MSRP is about 175K. While the G23 makes a great wave and the boat is engineered to the top of its game, the wave can be steeper for some and has spots with a rougher transition. When weighted properly, this is not much of an issue. Keep that in mind when you demo. If too much weight is added to this boat, it might not have as great a wave as you see here. No worries, just contact the Woodards or another G23 veteran if you need help setting up this wave.
The 2018 Mastercraft X23 is a beautiful boat, especially with this color scheme. It was definitely a looker and kept in top shape by the owner Danny Mantranga. This 23 footer makes a great wave but be careful when you demo. The X23 has a great surf hull but not all Mastercrafts make the same amazing wave. If you are looking for a Mastercraft and want a great wave, the X23 should be right on the top of your list. The X23 had a sticker price of about $150,000 and a dry weight of 5,500 pounds. 500 pounds of lead was added to the stock ballast system of about 3,000 pounds. With people and gear, that brought the total displacement of the X23 to 10,350 pounds. The wave was plenty long and powerful with a good transition and it was well liked. We have now all gotten used to the premium surf boats having huge amounts of freeboard keeping us well above the water. The X23 is by no means shallow like a Sanger, but it definitely isn't as thick as some of the other boats. The MB B-52-23 has a long tradition of making a great surf wave. I remember seeing this boat in 2007 and it made a great wave on both sides and the boat seemed so thick compared to the other boats. Things sure have changed, but even though this boat doesn't have that same level of thick freeboard we are now accustomed to, you won't be disappointed with the wave. This was the personal boat of Don Christman and he has taken pride with many custom details. Don would not be a real wake surfer, however, if he didn't spend just as much time and effort dialing in the wake, and it was dialed. This boat made a strong, powerful wave with a great transition. The B-52 retails in the low 100,000s and has a dry weight of about 5,200 pounds. The ballast system consists of 2,750 pounds of stock ballast with 1,100 pounds of plug and play weight and then 400 pounds of lead placed with loving care by Don. That is a total displacement with people in gear of about 11,050 pounds. The B-52 is a pretty good value and it always has been. MD is a smaller boat company in California that makes fewer boats but keeps the price pretty reasonable. If you like the look of this boat and wave, they are worth a look. I have to state right off that I personally spent a year with this beautiful boat and I am partial, so take that with a grain of salt. This 2018 Super SL 550 retailed for about $145,000 and makes a great powerful wave that has been shown off in many Wake 9 videos. I even know this really big fat guy that rides it without any problem. I handed this boat over to a brand new driver and just turned on auto wake. The auto wake system did a good job in many conditions to keep a consistent wave. One area of improvement would be that the auto wake system doesn't adjust quite fast enough and requires a bit of a wait, but I believe that has been resolved with the 2019 models. The 23 foot Super SL has a dry weight of 5,600 pounds with 3,200 pounds of stock ballast. About 700 pounds of lead was added over the entire boat to make this wave, which brings us to about 11,000 pounds of displacement. The 2019 Moomba Makai is a brand new model from Moomba and it sure hits the ground running. It is neither a budget boat nor is it a luxury premium boat. It fits right in the middle. This is a big 24 foot boat as you can see parked next to our Super SL. Even at that large size, this boat can be had for under $100,000 while equipped. This boat was provided by California Marine Sports in Suisun City, California. This 24-foot boat has a dry weight of 5,200 pounds and a stock ballast system of 4,000 pounds, which is under floor so it has cavernous storage. With 1,000 pounds of extra lead and people and gear, this boat displaced 11,800 pounds. The wave is powerful and smooth and this boat can also be equipped with the auto wake system. It is a first year model and even though it has the auto wake system, I have found that it requires a bit more time dialing it in compared to say the Super SL. It is not as luxurious as some of the other premium boats, but it is a good value with a great wave.
You can call this boat the 2019 Centurion FI-25, or you can refer to it as I do as the Big Mama Jamma. This boat is just under 26 feet long and is going to set you back a bit at about $180,000. That said, it makes use of that extra displacement and makes a big, long wave. Some boats can make a big wave, but it may not be a good big wave. This boat makes a wave that is long, big, and great, and it was a crowd pleaser. Who doesn't like big until you have to tow it or garage it? The Mama Jamma has a dry weight of 5,850 pounds and a stock ballast system with all of the upgrades at about 5,500 pounds. This boat was weighted using about 5,000 pounds of the stock system and then 500 pounds of lead, including gear and people that put this boat displacing a whopping 12,950 pounds. The FI-25 doesn't seem to like much weight up front and so it was weighted with most of the weight in the back which does mean it rides a bit bow high while surfing. This bothers some and not others. My advice is just to demo it yourself and make sure it is properly weighted and then you decide. You definitely won't care much about the bow rise when you are back there. Special thanks to all of the drivers and boat and board manufacturers. Special thanks for the patience you have all had with me this year after the tragedy in our area. We are looking forward to coming back to a full lake this year and hopefully the 11th year of the polar bear. A big thank you to Boat Bling for providing us cleaning materials for the boats to keep them looking great and I have to say the Boat Bling worked great. Another huge thank you to Peter Brooks for saving our butts and driving his Natik Sand 2010 for us to fill in for our missing boat. Please visit wake9.com slash polar bear for links to all of the sponsors and manufacturers.